In this class we're going to look at the influence of information technology on strategy and also mention the influence of culture on strategy as well. So to start, let's look at behavioral control. IT standardizes behavior through the consistent use of the same software. So for example, use of Microsoft Office or Google um, Office facilities which are online are one of the many other Office packages. The use of those packages standardizes the workflow within companies. In a sense it, uh, it overlaps with the culture of the business. It forms part of the, the culture of the business. So the language of the business is somewhat tempered or influenced by the language of the software. So people talk about spreadsheets and talking about formula in spreadsheets and the use of spreadsheets for calculation and business presentations are on PowerPoint and uh, documents are disseminated using Word and so on and so on. So information technology has a, a fairly big and growing role in the day-to-day -day lives of companies. Software influences the way companies almost think about certain projects. They, they start to visualize the project in terms of the software. What will it look like in the end? There's also output control. IT allow, allows all employees or functions to use the same software to provide information to their on their activities. So there's a sort of standardization. Um, it's now almost universally accepted that employees will understand Microsoft Office. And when they receive a document, a dot doc document, it will open in Word they will understand that PowerPoint uh, presentations are organized in a certain way and they'll have an extension uh, which indicates they are PowerPoint. So the output of workers in the administration of the business is heavily influenced by the, the software. There's also um, an integrating mechanism. IT provides people at all levels and across all functions with more information. Now it's, it's easy to do scenarios, to calculate what if uh, scenarios using spreadsheets. So uh, information is more easily collected and analyzed and the information can be uh, investigated and interrogated in ways which in the past if it was on paper would be difficult. Now let's talk about the organizational culture for a second. Traits of strong and adaptive corporate cultures. Well strong cultures tend to have a bias for action. A strong culture is one which wants to do things, it wants to innovate, it wants to change, it wants to uh, introduce new products and uh, innovate the way work is progressed. So in strong corporate cultures there is a bias for action. The nature of the organization's mission is also uh, a reflection of the corporate culture. And sticking with what the organization does best is just one scenario. A strong cor uh, corporate culture uh, means that the business is looking for new products, for new markets, it's innovating the workflow, it's innovating the way it does does business itself so that the mission of the business may be
be evolving as well. So strong and adaptive corporate cultures means that the mission will be changing over time. So it sticks with the, what the organization does best, that's the core of the activity, but over time changes to, to that will be, will be felt as the business goes forward. And how to operate the organization, for example, motivating employees to do their best. Um, strong corporate cultures tend to be good at motivation. They tend to be uh, very much active in, in the sense of looking for newness, looking for innovation, looking for change, but recognizing that the workforce must be carried with them in that quest. So in this very short class we've looked at two points. One is the, the influence of information technology on the business and the core piece of uh, uh, software here would be the office suite either by Microsoft or by one of the others, Google or whoever. Um, that piece of software influences the way uh, communications is run within the business, the way information is disseminated, the way uh, uh, presentations are made and the way uh, facts and figures are analysed and so on. So it is a big part of modern business and it must be recognised as such. Also the culture of the business, a strong and adaptive culture, will lead to the influences that are on the screen at the moment. A bias for action, um, modifications to the mission over time as the business evolves and also how to operate the business, motivating the employees and carrying the workforce, carrying the whole team with them as the, the business evolves and changes and uh, adapts to new market situations and to the requirements of the market. So we've done two parts here. We've looked at IT and we've looked at the influence of the corporate culture on the business. Very short uh, class, but two important topics. And that's what we're going to do for the moment. So thank you for watching.